Good afternoon everyone. It's Krista here from Georgia Soap Creations and today I'm going to make, be making a blueberry cheesecake soap for you. I'm going to make this in one of my log molds. The bottom layer is going to be scented in a cheesecake flavor or scent I should say from Aztec Candle. The main body will be scented in blueberry from Aztec Candle. Um, I'm going to do a white pipe top on it for whipped cream effect and top it off with some blueberry embeds that I made out of melt and pour soap. Um, in this bowl I've already got my hard oils and butters and my lye solution mixed together and I have my liquid oils and my kaolin clay and coconut milk powder in a separate bowl which we're going to be combining here in just a second. Give me one second, I need a drink of my coffee. Okay. Let's get these soft oils and stuff mixed in. As always, <laughs> scrape your bowl as completely clean as you can because it is oils. It will cling to the bowl. You will never scrape 100% out of it. And I know myself, um, when I measure mine out, like say I call for 10 ounces of olive oil, which is what this recipe does call for. When I weigh it out, I will weigh out 10.1 on the olive oil so that that way I get the full amount of oils that are needed into my recipe and that extra 0.1 that I measure out can be what clings to the bowl and does not affect the outcome of my soap. Give this a quick stir. See, I splashed a little bit, so let me clean that up. Alright, grab my stick blender and we'll get this blended. As always, pop your air bubbles. I should say too that I've started lately incorporating Tussa Silk into my lye water just for a nicer feel in the soap. And give me one second, I gotta grab one more of my color. Okay. The um, cheesecake. Uh, set that I'm using does discolor a little bit but I am going to add a touch of it's mocha latte mica from um, soap making coloring which used to be prismatic pigment um, that is their main company but the soap makers part of it is now called soap making coloring and I'm going to add that just to make sure that I get a light brown layer for my cheesecake bottom. And then for the blueberry layer, I'm going to be adding the sapphire blue, which is one of the newest micas that is available at Soap Making Coloring. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've brought this to emulsification. I'm going to go ahead and split off my batters. And when I add my colorants and fragrances, I will stick blend it and get it to trade. I want to have a thicker trace on the cheesecake, <coughs> excuse me, cheesecake layer. So that way, when I blend out, not sorry, not when I blend out, when I pour my blueberry layer, it will have a nice solid base to be on. So just a little bit for that blue or cheesecake layer. Set that aside for a moment. This is going to be for my topping. So it is going to be a white layer. There's a little bit more, just so I make sure I have enough. Okay, I'll grab another paper towel here real quick. With my fingers and my dribbles. Now I'm going to head set this batter aside and that one and I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to add just a touch of my blueberry fragrance oil to it. That way I have a little bit of blueberry scent to my topping. And with this because the blueberry scent does say that it has slight vanilla content, it's 0.7% on the vanilla content, I'm going to add titanium dioxide so that I get a nice creamy white layer. Once I get it mixed up. There we go. Bring back in my stick blender. And air bubbles. good way to incorporate air bubbles if you want air in your soap. I do not, so let's get them out of there. Scrape this down. blueberry container and this I'm going to set aside to allow it to do its thing and thicken up so that we can pipe the tops later. Bring this back in, make sure I'm in frame. Okay, now into this is going to go the rest of the blueberry fragrance. Sapphire blue and I add in that color. my sides and get any of that mica off the sides that's clinging to it. 
as well as the oils from up around the top from pouring it out. I want to make sure everything is completely blended. Once again, I can see Micah clinging. Um, that right there is a good example. For those of you that make bath bombs and worry about the mica uh, powders clinging to your bathtub, the mica powders are clinging to the side of this bowl because of the oil that is on the side of the bowl. And that's the same way it is in bath bomb making. If you use micas in your bath bombs and your tub is clean, the micas will not stick to the sides of the tub. And it's not even that they stay in the tub, it's that they stick to that oil layer or soap scum buildup, if you wish, that is on the sides of your tub. Now, people add poly 80 to help disperse it better. And yes, you can do that and it works well. It helps disperse the oils through your tub as well. But if you don't want to use the Poly 80 and you're worried about your tub staining, as people say, just make sure that the tub is cleaned well before you use it. And when you rinse your tub out after you're done with your bath, the micas will rinse right away. <laughs> cheesecake layer. Cheesecake or fragrance oil. And while yes, this one is not uh, weighed out, I have used it before, so I know exactly how much I need to pour in for that amount. Let me get my mocha latte color. Like I said, for this color, I am just going to be adding the teeniest amount. I do not want it a dark brown, but I do want it a brownish color. So let's get this blended. I think I'm going to add just a smidgen more of the mocha latte. And um, for those of you that have followed my postings in Simply Free Bath and Body Group, um, I want to thank you all for your thoughts and prayers for my daughter. Uh, just an update, you know, as of today, everything's still just a waiting game for us. We don't know what's going on. Um, she hasn't had any additional complications to that would indicate a miscarriage. So... It's just a waiting game for us right now. But I want to thank you for your thoughts and your kind words. Let me scrape the sides, get this color all in there. Of that mess. All right, 
Now I want it, this to be thicker so that when I pour the blue layer on, it's got a nice firm layer to set up on. I want to try to keep the blue from blending into the brown as much as possible. So I'm going to pause you and stick blend this a little more. Um, but I'm going to pause you so you don't have to listen to the noise. I'll bring you back to see. Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and get this base poured. And get the blueberry portion poured as it's thickening up quite nicely itself. So let's get a nice little layer in here. all this in because it's just enough for a nice thick cheesecake bottom layer. Alright, give me a second to tap this down. And wipe up that steel. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pour the blueberry over the top. I'm going to spoon this in just gently so that it doesn't break through and as thick as it's become, it should go in quite nicely for me. Okay, now I'm going to tap that layer down real quick, so give me one second. Alright, get this off the side. And then we can get the rest of this in. And we'll just have to wait for my topping to finish setting up. This blueberry uh, fragrance oil smells amazing. I mean, it smells. When I lived in uh, Pennsylvania, I had a small blueberry patch that I planted. And it smells like I'm out there right now picking those blueberries. This is just going to be a simple, yet I'm hoping with the whipped topping and the embeds for the top, which I'll show you those in a few minutes, um, I'm hoping it's just going to be a simple, but yet elegant looking soap at the same time. Alright, let's go ahead and pour some now so it don't take so long. I'll give this a tap and see where we're at towards the top. Clean up the sides again. I don't want it eating away my embed marks. So just a little bit more. I don't want it clear to the top. So that way I have a little bit underneath the edge of the mold. The top of the mold, I should say, to get my um, piping on. Okay, one more smack down. Give 
the remaining of that blueberry batter is going to get poured into some small molds that my daughter had gotten me for Mother's Day that I've been dying to test. So this extra batter will just give me a reason to test those. Push this, let it sit till our uh, uh, topping is ready to pipe. But here are the blueberry embeds that I made. Just little melt and pour balls that I've colored in the sapphire blue. And I've added some ethereal glitter to for that little sparkle factor. So, I'm going to pause you yet again and I will bring you back when we're ready to pipe. Okay, I'm back to pipe the top of my soap. Um, this is a looser mixture than I normally use. I did not want a severe... Um, I don't want to say a normal pipe top, but I want to say I wanted a looser, more spoon-like consistency. I want it to be soft looking, is what I should say. And I could have spooned this on as loose as I left it, but I decided to just pipe it. I'm going to try and get a top dollop in between for where I want each of my embeds to go. Sometimes I can get that right, other times I cannot. Me and embed placement is still a work in progress. Bring in my embeds. I have marks made on the sides of my molds so that I know where to place my embeds. So hopefully when I cut my soap, I don't cut through the embeds. which I have done before. Now, if, I mean, if that happens, that's okay. I'll just go with it. But I would prefer to have a full embed on each slice of soap. Oops. Try to get that. Nope. I'm going to leave that frosting on there. Okay, I think those look good. Give them just a tap down in so I make sure that they adhere to my soap. And I should be able to cut them perfectly. Hopefully. Give me one second. Uh, I want to put just a touch of my Starry Night blue glitter onto the top of this. Just for a little... I said a touch, not a lot, but I guess we're going for a bit more than I wanted. That's okay. We'll go with it. Alright, well there you have it. My blueberry cheesecake pipe to top with embed soap. I will bring you back tomorrow when I cut this, and we will see how it turns out. See you tomorrow. Hello everyone, I'm back to cut my blueberry uh, cheesecake. So, as you can see, the bottom layer is a light brown for the cheesecake. So, let's see if I can get these embeds lined up.
and get some good cuts. Alright, you have to cut off a small sliver. And this is just going to be straight colored soaps, no designs in it or anything. Slice one. It just it smells incredibly yummy right now. Um, for those of you that know about my son breaking his arm we just got back from the doctors he got his cast off today and he got put into a brace that he will be in for another month and after that month he should be all cleared good to go be able to get back into playing sports and everything um, right now he is not cleared to do any baseball playing at all which you know, for a kid that just turned 13, just completely disheartened him. So he's very upset about that. Oops. And for those of you following in any of my groups that I've posted about my daughter, uh, we still don't know anything with her, and she has an appointment to go see a doctor tomorrow. The doctor is not happy at all with the way the emergency room handled things. Um, so, she is going to do her own uh, blood draws tomorrow and check her HCG levels and her bro progesterone levels. And she said then she will make a game plan and course of action from there so I will update in my simply free group and my soap junkies unite group after I know more of what's going on with her I'm loving the way this come out I got a few air holes in it uh, my blueberry batter set up thicker on me quicker than I anticipated but I wanted it to be a thick batter so it did not break through the brown layer too awful much. So overall, I'm happy with it. Them air pockets, in my opinion, just add to the handmade look. But there you have it. Blueberry cheesecake loaf of soap. This will be ready in four to six weeks. Thank you for watching.